Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am hoping to rebuild this house right here. Basically we will be taking it and making sure to keep all the features I can while still making it better. This house was found on planet Minecraft and it is labeled as bad house so don't think that I'm just being super offensive to someone. It, they put it up as bad house, I'm using it. Anyway, let's get into the video. Alright, first things first, I want to try and get these walls up. Now, their walls came off a bit flat. That's the main issue. Even though they have actually added depth in the use of their second story being jutted out, it's not quite enough because the pieces themselves are still flat even if they're connected not flat. So first thing I'm going to try and do is add more shape. First way that I'm going to try and do this is simply by adding some banners. Banners allow us to get color, but since they have kind of kept their palette a little flat, I will try and keep it as flat as I can. So let's go ahead and just add some gray banners like so. Now, the doorway. It's going to get a bit more special treatment for me here. Theirs is completely fine. I don't mind theirs too much, but it could definitely use some intrigue. So I'm going to go and make it just a bit more outlined. In fact, we can even add some glass up there for a pretty neat little window. Hmm, I'm actually not liking this glass. Let's go ahead and see what that would look like as gray stained. Alright, yeah, now we're talking. That's pretty nice. Usually, gr stained windows will actually come off better than normal windows. Right over here, I am once again going to be extending this house. And I will, again, be using a log across. This isn't going to be another doorway though, this is for two reasons. Consistency, to keep things feeling the same across, but also as a means of breaking up these similar wall shapes and getting some new shape in here. So I'm going to be going ahead and grabbing fence, and here we will still have glass, but I find that one wide glass windows can work, but I tend to like fences, especially if you're going for an older styled house. Your fences are going to be your best friend here. Anyway, we're just going to copy this over to the other side. I just want to get these walls feeling shaped. I actually want to come in with some trap doors here, namely at the corners here, as well as getting it as window sills here. I'm using different trap doors simply based on which looks better where, but that immediately just gives things more of a jutting out, and it definitely helps to add some details in. I'm liking that a lot more. Another nice little thing I'm going to do actually, directly across from this area, I want to actually have this side be a doorway, and I want to go ahead and add just a little roof area jutting out from here. If you're curious about this, though it isn't faithful, what I'm trying to do is again add more shape and break up the square. Because let's go ahead and take a look from the top of this. You'll see this is still a square. I mean, it doesn't quite look like it from there, but this, the base shape is square. If you drew this out on a piece of paper, top down view, that's what it would come out as. So I'm just trying to break that up by giving a small segment for the glass to separate off from this square. So this right here. I also think that some nice little fencing just like this will do it pretty well, just like that. So we can go ahead and try actually getting cobblestone. Again, I'm just trying to get shape because a lot of building is about your shapes. What kind of shaping can you do to make this nice? So that right there I think makes a much nicer shape than simply having the logs go up. And that can connect directly into a roof right up at this height. 
which I will get onto that later. Alright, so a little bit more progress has been made, and I've gone and fixed the issue with the logs not lining up here. All I've done is again tried to split up this square shape. You'll see it roughly remains the same. There's some difference, but if we follow this log, this is the main building shape, and this has remained for the most part intact. Small thing I'm kind of itching to do as well is just move this over a little bit because I do want the logs to remain lined up. You want to almost be able to draw a grid between your logs, each one having its parallel. Now remember this isn't required, that's just something I like to do. It's a little me kind of thing. Right here is where I'm thinking the staircase is likely going to go, so I'm going to actually try and keep it flatter. Instead, we'll try and decorate both from the inside and outside while keeping this wall flat. Now, that may seem odd, but you'll see what I mean later if you don't already. All right, so far we've not done a lot, but it has achieved a lot. The last thing I'm going to do is seal up this window right here to make space for that chimney, which I'm going to move back a little bit, just kind of keep it into this area. I'm thinking this is going to be a small kind of boiler room. That's probably not the term, but you get what I mean. That's going to be the little furnace area. Slight switch of plans, actually. I'm thinking this right here is where the furnace is going to go, or the uh, chimney. And the reason for that is because they actually have it as a fireplace within their space. And I like that. I like that a lot, actually. So final thing I'm going to do is give more space for this living room. So I'm just going to push this back for the sake of design. Remember, you can always go back on your decisions. You don't have to keep what you've made. And I think this will well improve the final result. Trust me. And here we have it. There is a lot more shape to this, a lot more character, but I am trying my best not to compromise the original too much in order to create this. So you will probably see more of that coming through here in the second floor, which I think we can actually get onto now. All right, first thing you're going to notice over here is that this is jutting out. And while it may be a bit difficult to work with, I want to keep as much as I can on the original building. So again, this will be jutting out just like the original. But this over here will not apply. I'm thinking that this will only be the first story. Again, separating that shape more and allowing only this part to go up. Another thing, with these stairs, these corners come off quite odd because this does not feel circular. But then having these more rounded edges gives it a bit of a weird feel. So I think we would best be keeping that actually and making sure it feels more square this will appear odd for now but trust me i think i know what i'm doing i, I might not <laughs> all right you will notice that i introduced oak over here that was not a mistake right here they have dark oak quick thing i don't like it when you sandwich a darker color between two lighter colors Right here, the spruce and the oak, which quite a similar tone, is sandwiching this dark oak. And I just think that comes off real strange. It's better if darker colors are used to encase. So instead, I'm actually going to be switching their dark oak into oak wood, just like this. And it's just going to be coming across just like so and serving the same purpose. I actually really like their application of the oak wood. All it needs is, well, to be not dark oak. All right, I think that is a good base plate for our new story. So let's go ahead and try building that. This is going to be a little bit strange to try and do because their second story is peculiar, and I tend to work with things in very specific numbers, often three and four for these little panels between the logs. So this is actually going to be a fun challenge for me, trying to see if I can get something to fit in here. First things first though, let's try and get these two wide windows, and I only want them on the edges. I don't want classic two wide windows to be in the center. Okay. 
so that leaves us with this whole entire area, which probably, yeah, I wouldn't say that we can quite just make that a big window. Let us instead try, what if we make a small shape like that? Okay, I'm not feeling that. Let's... I'm gonna need some time to think. That's not bad. I actually kind of like that. And we can use smooth quartz in order to try adding a bit of shape to this. Yeah, okay. It stands out a little bit from the wool, but not bad enough to dislike it too much. And let's maybe try and do something unique with the roof later. Okay, I want to mostly keep the sides simple, but obviously they are going to come off a bit odd. This is a real different way of building, but I am actually kind of enjoying this. This is cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get another one wide here. I'm going with a lot of symmetry. You don't have to do symmetry with this kind of stuff. I'm just not like the greatest builder, so... I kind of rely on symmetry a lot to do stuff for me, pretty much. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of these banners from below, try applying them here. And instead of moving all of this up, I think what I'll do, again pulling smooth quartz, if you're going to do something once, you might as well try doing it again. It's good to make things continuous, continuity, it's quite important with this kind of stuff. So, since these have that, I'm going to again copy my one wide window design. And you'd think it would start to feel repetitive, but not quite, because you kind of take it in all at once. It's not like you just get the one portion by itself. And thus, it just feels like one big build rather than something that repeats all over the place. All right. I'm liking that, but we aren't going to have windowsills up here because if you think about it, that wouldn't make sense. You wouldn't want windowsills on your second story where you could not possibly reach them. Instead, as well, I think I'm going to actually try getting some fence gates in here. And I think that could come off kind of interesting. Let's see. I feel like it's better closed but I don't mind the whole fence gate look. I don't believe I will. Actually, something they have done, their second story is taller, which is interesting. I'm trying to be faithful here, I really am, so I'm going to extend it for myself here. What if we actually try and give, say, a little bit of orange underneath this, right? Let's try this. Whoa, hey, that's super cool. Oh. Oh. We've done something here. Wow. <laughs> That's super cool. That is in for this long run. That is great. Okay, let's go ahead and try using that a little bit more. What if we flip it over here? No, I think let's go ahead and use that again because this is great. I love these little banners. Okay. Uh, right over here, I don't want to make this one the same as over there. Oh, that's maybe... I'm thinking, like, possibly a balcony sticking out, but I think that would be too much. Yeah, that would be too much. I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's bring this around the corner, and I think feel like some kind of garden up here is going to be our best bet at making this feel right. You see, the reason I want to do a garden is so we can get some cobblestone, or let's even do deep slate tile, because these are really nice tiles and I want an excuse to use them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just add these in just like this. Uh, wait, no, like that, that'll do, that'll do. And the reason I want to do that, I'm going to actually lift up the grass as well. I want this to be a little garden, and over here will be a small hanging garden. So let's go ahead and do that, and if we just get some chains, we can go ahead and make a hanging garden. This is like one of my favorite designs, I throw it on a lot of houses nowadays. I just love this stuff, it really gives you just the right feel. So let's go ahead and try adding a fence in the center. 
That is lovely. Wow. Hmm. I think we can do better. All right. That really grounds it. Yeah, okay. So then you just add some grass. Let's go ahead and get our trap doors out and just surround that real fast like. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Just seeing the kind of general process of building. I'm trying to make a very laid back video here. Because I definitely tend to stress too much about my YouTube videos. And I feel like it kind of bogs them down sometimes. So I'm trying to chill out here. Get back into the swing of things. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to have your house here in a video, send it to me over on the Discord. Link in the description. It's the best place to reach me if you want to suggest any videos. Or... Send me a rebuild. Possible rebuild. Not a done rebuild. Unless you want to, actually. I could feature your guys' rebuilds. That would be fun. Anyway, uh, let's see. We're gonna want to get the roof in over here before we say anything about this wall. So for now, I'm just going to fill it in. Alright, bam. Okay, over here, I'm going to mostly probably repeat that over there. But, we do have to be quite wary of this right here. <clears throat> uh, right over here. I don't quite know what I want to do with this one. Actually, let's just make it a three wide window. Embrace the oddness of this spot. Uh, let's grab our fences from over here. It's just quicker from grabbing it from the inventory. And just kind of plop it in right that. Let's try adding some of these. That's not bad! <laughs> I will take that. That's a neat little design. I'm keeping... Keeping that. Real quick, I do have World Edit. I've not used it much throughout this video, and that is simply because it's a little bit broken right now. Every time there's an update. But I do think I can get this, so give me a moment here. All right, so we've actually got a lot done here. I might go ahead and take these little orange black banners and just slap them over here as well. Each wall gets them, except the back wall. It doesn't have any reason to have those. Let us actually move on to the roofing. We're moving through this fairly fast, I'd say. All right, so we've reached the roofs, but here's the thing. I don't really like the wood they've used for the original here, so what I'm going to be doing is actually switching it up to oak wood, and I will be combining that with deep slate tile like I've done for the garden here. Now deep slate tiles really just in the spirit of 1.17, but if you don't have 1.17 like they likely didn't, then you can use stone, stone brick cobblestone. Any of these will do the same job, probably more effectively. I just think it would be fun to try using Deep Slate for this. All right, that is looking pretty good. I did have to get some stairs in here and here in order to keep this roundness, but anything that works, it came across fairly nice. It gives you a bit of an arch. So if I just fill this in with oak wood, we should see a fairly final result on this roof. And that will do. It kind of keeps to this cottage style, which I think that's what they've gone for. So I'm going to try and keep to that as much as possible. Now let's go ahead and see if we can fit in wool completely. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing, but let's see if it would look alright just covering it up. What do you know? That's alright, and sometimes you can make compromises like that. In fact, I'd say that made the arch a little better, so... Yeah, great actually. So let's just move on, I guess. This is a good result. Okay, we need to break this shape up. Like, desperately, we need to break this shape up. So I previously did this with Caleb or Brock. I don't even know what to call it, say it, but... I did this with him, and he split it up into two. Now, I'm no idea thief, but I am an idea thief. I liked his idea a lot. So much, in fact, I'm stealing it, because his idea of how to fix this was actually kind of brilliant. 
much better than my original just thinning the building, which was kind of lame. So let's go ahead and just try doing that. You see, this has a two block center, so it does this perfectly. It is actually built for this stuff. Oh, and would you look at that? Oh, yes, it comes to a one block center here. I did not plan that, but that's brilliant. I love it. Yo, this is so good. Okay, so now if we get the second A-frame, we have ourselves a really nice little shape. I like that. Okay, so this is going to take a while. I love World Edit. I really do. I, I miss it already. But I'm going to have to sit here for, what, like 10 minutes and just build this. So give me some time. I'll be back and this will be done. Alright, I've not completely finished the roof here, I've got some time, but I did want to call out one thing real quick. They added these, and I didn't think I'd keep these. I think I'm keeping these. Because here's the thing, if I go ahead and take slabs instead, we can actually go ahead and add this type of thing. And let's go ahead and make it arch slightly as well, so just like that. And that just allows us to separate this big white area from our walls. Separation is a big part of this. If you can't separate it, then your eye doesn't know where to go in the build, and it will just look like a mess. So definitely try and separate it. I think this does a lovely job, but we'll also just be adding some logs across here anyway. So yeah. Alright, so I have gone and done this entire roof and it is now half the size of the original. This is starting to look like a very different house, it is, but I'm trying to be faithful, really, I, trust me. But we are not finished roof-wise, we still have the balcony roof. Alright, this is looking a little bit odd right now, but... We will be fixing that real fast with an overhang using some more deep slate. Trying to stick to this palette. I think the deep slate may have been a weak choice here, but again, spirit of 1.17. They added new stuff. Let's use it. Okay, that is a little bit strange. I'm not going to lie about that one, but it'll have to do. Anyway, that right there is our main shape. It's kind of a husk of a house right now. Uh, we could use a couple of decorations. I could get some leaves. It is a cottage style house. I do it every time, but I always love the way it looks. <laughs> Let's actually get the chimney first though. Quick thing, I am going to proper replace this entire wall with brick. I just think that looks really nice to do. And we will then run this brick properly up the wall. Ooh, yeah, and it's going to actually proper intersect with this right here. Yeah, just like that. And then we make it jut out, which they did in the original, but I'm doing it a bit higher. Again, being somewhat faithful. <laughs> I'm trying my best, okay? I, faithfulness is not my strong suit when it comes to rebuilding. Okay, bam, here we are on the inside. I want to really quickly actually get started with the fireplace and stuff. Now, their design was really good. Let me just show you this. I love their chimney, actually. Look at this. This is really good. I really like this. So, I am an idea thief. But, is it just me, or is my fireplace design looking real nice? Alright, I'm gonna get some quick torches placed around here. Just light the place up. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda missing shaders. I really want Optifine to update nice and quick. 
Actually, sorry about the bats as well. I'll go ahead and uh, remove that noise through discrete methods. Ah, uh, hey, ah, uh, they're, they're all gone, yay. Uh, let's go ahead and continue our build here. I'm going to put a torch up here and a torch up here. Uh, yeah, for now I'll leave the upstairs for future me. And in the meantime, I want to go ahead and get our couch in. Hmm. I'm thinking about doing a very specific little method for this. I'll leave it. I think this is fine. And it's already a little bit cramped here. Well, not really now that I think about it. Yeah, let's actually just push it forward. Just like so. And these stairs will go in a corner like this. Yeah, I think that's lovely, actually. What they've gone and done is made some real odd little logs do this. Now we're going to have to push that back a little bit, but I think that works, doesn't it? If we just, or, well, this should be oak. This is a great staircase. <laughs> Yo, okay. So, now all we need is to grab some slabs, fill that in. And just like that, we have ourselves an entire oak wall. A bit odd, but look at that. That's actually kind of lovely. And right here, we have kept the oak. Now, right here will be a basement entrance, as they have done in basement. But we'll hold off on that. So with all that set up, we can go ahead and get in a small table over here. Uh, I think... I think that's good for now. Let's see what they have. I'm trying to be faithful. I have to remember that. A uh, little dining table. Okay, that's kind of adorable. Let's make it full birch, though. Yeah, they deserve a full birch table if they're gonna have one. And I'm going to have these little black chairs around it, because I love this black chair. Quickly, I'm going to slap this little chair over here. I am actually going to extend this table just a little bit. So that way we can evenly place some chairs and I'm going to do dark oak just like this and bam, bam. And it is better to use signs if you have a staircase chair. So bam, and would you look at that? This dinner table's looking great. Yeah, we have a plugin for this. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and actually try and fill in this little corner. This little corner is kind of sad and lonely. Nothing to fill in the space, like a little bit of survival essentials. Trust me, they always take up space, and if you just use them as a decoration, you never end up having to place them awkwardly. So in their original build, they've kind of left their little basement empty. But I'm not a big fan of that, really. So I've decided rather than doing the same myself with the restrictions of the super flat, I'm actually going to go ahead and make a quick nether portal. I think that'd be far more interesting to have down there, down here rather, than just having a dead end. So right here is a neat little nether portal. We can go ahead and cover up the top here with some trap doors, which shouldn't feel too strange if you just bring that across like that. Yeah, right there you go. This is a quick nether portal. It's a little bit awkward to enter, but it works well, does its job great. So we've got two main rooms to get since my staircase is over here. They've done a bathroom up here, which I'm going to be placing right in this corner like this. Okay, I'm gonna actually just have a log there and keep it open. Remember, this is kind of more a medieval house and right in here will be the bathroom. So I'll go ahead and get some bathroom furniture in here. But before that, I want to then lay out the bedroom, which I'm not 100% sure how I want this to go. But I'm thinking I actually want to take up a little bit more space over here. Just about like that. I've actually gone and copied a window design from over in the bathroom. Which, if you're curious about the bathroom windows, they do them too. It's all about being faithful. That's all I gotta say. So, of course, we're going to have the signature Minecraft toilet right here. Great. And... Let's go ahead and see about a quick set of stairs over here. 
and we can go ahead and have a tap or rather a trip wire and get a cauldron just like that we have ourselves a little bathroom and as for their mirror i would actually just simplify that down to a light blue banner just like this just like that and you can sit on the toilet even closer to the window now and assert dominance over your neighbors ah uh, let's see now we have the bedroom i want to actually have the door right here i thought that'd be an interesting spot for a door and if we can go ahead and get the rest of this filled in that's not too bad we'll keep it and i'm going to get some torches off on the ends here all right yeah let's go ahead and extend the bricks the rest of the way up this is uh cozy this is neat i guess there's only really one thing left to do here and that's add in some heads, get some fresh decorations, and call it a day. It would appear that the heads plugin that I usually use is very broken right now, so I suppose instead we will finish this off with a small carpet over here. Now, this probably could have came out a little bit better, but I do think that we've managed to rebuild the original house, improve it, and keep the majority of its features. Let's actually take a quick tour across both. So we have the original house right here. Thanks for downloading. And we have all of these furniture items. The basement kind of just leads to nothing. And don't fault them for that. It leads to bedrock down there. But if we go and check out the second story, we have ourselves a big wall here with the bathroom and bedroom right here in all this open space. Now, let's go ahead and tour mine as well, which right here is the outside of theirs. But if we go around mine, I've gone and added a lot of shape, extended the palette a little, and just tried to get as much stuff in as I could. I really wanted to get more things going on with this house. Really pop it. And the orange as well has really helped to make this stand out. Anyway, if we go on the inside, it is still not great in here. I wanted to do more. I really did. But anyway, right here we have ourselves the same fireplace actually. Their fireplace. Great. I used this chair. They had a great chair, but I've gone and changed up a lot of the decoration, made the staircase stand out a little more. The basement is now nether portal, which I quite like. Up here, upstairs, the rooms are over here rather than directly in front, as well as being a bit more open with the bathroom. Very open, in fact. And the bedroom is a bit more cozy. You get more space in here. And while it's not too decorated, if you had access to player heads, you could definitely do some more stuff with that. Anyway, I hope that some of you guys have picked up some tips from this, maybe. Or perhaps you just enjoyed watching this build come together. Let me know what I should do in the future. I want to put more quality into these videos, but right now I don't have replay mod. I don't have shaders even. World edit's not really working out for me. My computer can't handle the camera. I could complain all day. I really can. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. This has been a fair bit of fun to make. I want to do better stuff in the future. Let me know. What can I improve? How can I make this a good series? I want this to be a series of sorts. Anyway, I'll be seeing you dudes in the next one. Peace.